Hi everybody! It's been a while. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I had this weird moment where I was like, oh man, I really need to like, you know, step up my channel and do some more stuff. And I think the problem was is that I bombarded myself with so many things to do that I literally gave myself so much to do I couldn't even do it anymore. And I like to explain a little bit something too. The reason the videos haven't come out yet is because I've been trying to figure out a formula that I can actually put the games out there and do the videos. Now, let me try to explain this a little bit. That when the kids are in the background and I'm making a video, it's very distracting in the microphone because the microphone picks up everything. And it's not like I can just cut it out because sometimes I'm in, the, I'm in the middle of a statement and all of a sudden the kids are like, so I can't cut that out. And then the gameplay goes by and that segment's over and then that just becomes, it also becomes my, my attention gets very focused behind me and not on the game. So my commentary is a lot off. So I've been, I just, unfortunately my wife, how it normally works was that on Saturdays she would actually watch the kids for two hours and I would film a game and then I would just chop it up into five different pieces for the week and that's how I could get my work done. But the problem is is that now with the pregnancy being as tough as it is on Bethany, unfortunately she hasn't been able to provide me those two hours. I had to figure out a way how to actually film it and then, you know, find a way how to commentate over it. So what I've decided to do is uh, I have a new format that I'm going to be doing. It's not going to be much different to you, but it will be different on me. But So I figured it out. But I also wanted to do some more stuff. I had this great epiphany. You know, I was watching E3 yesterday and I wanted to talk about this. It's, you know, in my entire life I've heard this cliche over and over and over and over again. But for the first time it actually really, like, you know, it hit home. I was watching... I was watching the EA conference on E3. I was watching it live on YouTube, and there was this box that had the chat room underneath, and there was like 70,000 people talking. Now, the one thing I realized for the very first time, it actually really hit home. I mean, it really sunk home. It is impossible to please gamers. For every one comment that I saw saying it was the best game ever, it was also the worst game ever. Is that I realized you can't please everybody. I could make the best content in the world and so could you. And this is more of my point. You could make the best content in the world. You could be someone who thinks is deemably worthy of 37 million subscribers. You know who you are. And people and one person can say this is the worst pile of trash I've ever seen in my life and another person says that this is the best thing ever this will change television and the way we see entertainment forever that's the point you can't please everyone and every as long as you make content that you you like and you think is worthwhile, I promise, if you are honest with yourself, and you actually would watch what you produce, I promise you, you will find a voice out there because people will find it and like it. There are just as many people who hate FIFA as there is my people who hate, you know, the NFL games, the Madden games, who hate, you know, hate the NHL games, who despise Garden Warfare, who love, who absolutely love Star Wars Battlefront. I, I mean, Star Wars Battlefront front looked amazing and there are people in the comments like you know putting like you know z's you know like for sleeping comments like this is boring i, I never fanboyed out about star wars it's like so it's like i'm not a big fan and i saw that trailer and i was like i gotta play this game i gotta play this game it looks so cool i'm seeing people in the comments going like this game looks terrible it's stupid it's just like why are they wasting money it's like you know go home ea it's just like why? There were equal amount of people who were just excited. As you see these comments of these people commenting down below talking how much this terrible this is, is you're seeing people in the front and the people freaking out and like, you know, yelling and screaming and having a ball. Who cares if the naysayers say? And it finally hit home. So I'm doing my channel the way I want to do it. That's right. I'm doing the way I want to do it. Because you know what? It's my sandbox and I'm going to Play it how I want to play it. That's right. And you should feel the same way too. 
I got a whole bunch of fun ideas I'm gonna do for my channel and I'm no longer gonna feel like well I don't know if people are really gonna like it or not it's just like you know whatever you if you're sub to my channel you know who I am you know the kind of stuff that I want if you don't like this particular ugh, if you don't like a specific video that I'm doing it's no problem just wait till tomorrow and watch the next one there's a bunch of games that I've played in the past that I have not completed. All the ones I have not completed, I will revert, regol, and complete it. There's a bunch of games that I got for free I never played, and there's actually a bunch of games that I want to play that I didn't think would work for this channel. Um, I am actually going to be doing a really fun series. I'm doing a, um, a series on getting all the cards on Witcher 3 Gwent. If you haven't played Gwent, uh, I didn't play it. I went the whole playthrough the first time around, and I never, when I beat the game, I never actually played Gwent. So I'm going to do a whole series on getting all, I'm going to do another playthrough, and I'm not going to show the playthrough, but I'm going to show getting where you get the cards, where I got them at, and playing and trying to get, trying to beat all the people in Gwent. So it's going to be like kind of like a Hearthstone series, but with Gwent. I spent $60 on Dragon Age Origins. Is that right? <laughs> no, Dragon Age... <laughs> Dragon Age Inquisition, duh. And I never even played it. You know, you know, do you know why I didn't play it? Because it'd be too many videos. So it's like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna think like that. If Chuck Conroy can do 165 episodes of Xeno, Xeno Blade, you know, whatever it is, and then still get 185,000 views in the 115th episode, well, you know what? I believe that there are people out there who will be willing to actually watch all the way to the end. I basically was thinking to myself, it's like, what if I actually had an RPG and a shorter game and maybe a couple of segments? And that's kind of what I'm thinking about. I want to have a long game, short game, and segments all in a day. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that they're all going to be, you know, on three days a week, three, three, three videos a day. That's a lot on my plate. So, like I said, I got a bunch of segments I got in line that I'm not going to announce right now because I could be making some adjustments. But one of them was going to be a YouTube gamer series. That's right. It's going to be, simply put, me finding all these tips that I find out about the business sides of it, the technical sides of, of YouTube, all these things that people just need to know. In my opinion, you have to know the, the rules before you can break them. That's something I learned in, in college, That's and I live by those rules. You have to learn the rules before you can break them. Go home and write that down and recite it yourself a hundred times. We're going to do tons of fun tips, tons of fun things. That's one series that we're going to do about it. So, And I think that's going to be more or less probably on a Monday. And I'm probably going to actually going to start doing a very simple weekly vlog. And a week, and what I mean that is I'm just going to basically, you know, talk through all the things I've done in the week, what's going on in my life, because I like a personal touch to a channel. But anyways, brothers and sisters, thank you so much for all, you guys are my family, I love you all so much, you guys are awesome, and I really hope that you appreciate all the stuff that I'm doing, because I appreciate you so much, and I want to get this thing going. Guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.